Hello there, and welcome back to Back Row Tutoring. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to name and explain the evidence to show current climate change. You should be able to name some possible consequences on people. And you should understand climate change projections and how there is uncertainty about the future climate. We know about past climate change, but we also know that the climate is changing now because of humans. Climate change can be seen through five different pieces of evidence. First of all, there is global temperature rise. This is a very obvious piece of evidence. Over the past 200 years, global temperatures have been recorded accurately, and overall, temperatures have been increasing. Secondly, there is the declining of Arctic ice. This is as a result of global warming. A hotter temperature means ice melts to become water. This means that overall there is less ice. Warming oceans are another piece of evidence for climate change. As the atmosphere gets hotter, the oceans warm up too. Average sea levels around the world have been rising. This is because when a liquid like the sea heats up, it expands. This means the sea rises when its temperature increases. Another reason for sea level rise is because of the melting of ice caps. Once the ice melts, it becomes water, meaning the amount of water in the sea is larger. Finally, the frequency of extreme weather events increasing leads to the theory of global warming. In the UK and around the world, there are weather events which have been previously unheard of. This includes the increase in the amounts of rainstorms and the decrease in the amount of rain elsewhere. This, in particular, can be seen in some places in Africa, where desertification is now an issue. This is where the ground gets drier and drier. Unfortunately, people are affected by global warming. Sea level rise can be catastrophic for low-lying islands and coastal communities, as the sea will rise onto the land. With an increase of 3 degrees Celsius, large cities such as Miami, Osaka and Rio de Janeiro could be almost all underwater. Increased frequencies of extreme weather events will also directly affect the human population. In areas affected by desertification, crops cannot grow and this causes famine, meaning populations could starve. An increase in the amount of storms and flooding puts people and property in danger. Okay, now you should be able to name and explain the evidence to show current climate change. You should be able to name some possible consequences on people. And you should understand climate change projections and how there is uncertainty about the future. Thank climate. you very much for watching. Workbooks and test papers which integrate with these videos and online courses are available at our website, backrowtutoring.com.